miserable day today. Rain. So, um, did some stuff in the arena so far and went well. It's good, but you know, when it gets a little bit rainy, we don't want to do too much at one time. Um, horses get wet. It can get a little cold. So, give them a break, grab some food. I wanted to talk about something that I talked about in my first video of the year. <laughs> he hasn't moved since I left. There. So come back. No guy there. Oh! Uh, okay, I want to talk about this soon as well. There's a lot of conversations out there about um, keeping water from freezing. Now, in some climates, really cold ones, this is not probably going to be too effective. Uh, in milder, sort of, you get down to, in Celsius, you get down to zero, to freezing level, maybe you go down another five degrees or so, pretty effective. Um, maybe even a little bit further, it would be effective. Because uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to reduce the amount of of contact between the freezing cold air and the water. So I thought I'd show you upside down here this. Um, this is a, a cover I made uh, out of two by eights at the bottom, two by eights, two by tens maybe. <clears throat> um, and then I've got some treated stuff around the edges and I got plywood on the top. Um, now I should have I should have painted that plywood because it uh, Plywood is just wood, pieces of wood put together with glue. Uh, it separates really easy unless it's marine plywood, which is a lot more expensive and better glue. Uh, basic plywood, not the case. You need to protect it, epoxy it, or, um, or paint it with something uh, uh, for the outdoors. So, uh, taking a look at this, it's got four, four legs, obviously, um, that hold everything up, and the plywood. Um, very, very strong. I mean, each one of these can hold a heck of a lot of weight, uh, and everything is attached together with long screws that make it all the way through, um, and then on the top as well. Because we were thinking about maybe, just maybe, a horse might sort of step on it, and I mean, they won't step up on it. It'd be, it would be really unusual to see a horse step up and on one of these things unless they really had to, which again is unusual. Um, but the uh, the plywood itself is three quarter inch. Um, so very thick stuff. I'm not saying it would hold a horse if they stepped in the middle, but anywhere near the edges would be just fine. Uh, the rest of the structure should hold up really well. So you want to think about these things. I'm not saying this is the strongest uh, solution out there, but it's an idea that I think the general person can give a go um, to help uh, in the case that you don't have availability to proper electricity to warm up your waters and keep them from freezing. There are other solutions out here, so this is just one, take it for whatever it is. Very simple concept. These ones are all measured out to our um, our buckets, I'll show you. We just have the normal everyday uh, tubs, just the plastic tubs. Yeah. Pretty typical, nothing, oh come on camera, there. Um, nothing exciting happened there. And so you can see from the bottom that's what it looks like, we'll tip it this way. It's heavy, so um, pretty heavy thing. And the, the, the plywood sits on top of the edges uh, for here. It's just sitting flush and screws all around um, that keep it, keep it tight. Now, the key point here is, is the hole in the top. Now, this is kind of a big hole. If you ever sort of go looking around for uh, cattle waterers, uh, the ones that have to be really out there. Um, and there might be a pipe that gets them for the water, but it's unlikely they'll have electricity. So what they do is they take, um, usually it's made out of plastic, some of them made out of wood, some are metal, um, but the, the, the more fabricated ones that are made out of a mold are fiberglass, uh, plastic sort of deal. And what they'll do is they'll make a hole in the top, like this, and um, they'll put a ball in the middle, a ball that will sit low in the water, essentially. And 
it, it can't make it through. So it's slightly bigger, very slightly bigger than the, uh, the opening. That's a pretty big opening. As you can see, this is the size of my hand. It's, you know, um, that's how big the opening is. That gives you any reference. And they put a ball in there and the, the ball, the, the animal will push the ball down and then they'll be able to drink. And when they lift their nose out, the ball comes back up and it stops all contact from the outside air reaching the water. That is our goal in the end. Oh, I thought somebody was here. Okay, and then, so what this does um, is it reduces the amount of air contact with the water and it is effective. It does work. Um, the only way that I think that I could make it better right now um, is to provide a little more insulation inside uh, that would stop the air inside here from getting colder and it would stay more the temperature of whatever the water was. Um, so I thought I would introduce that to you guys uh, today. And, uh, and the, the other thing about it um, you have to be sort of mindful of, uh, I think, is the size of the hole that you put here. The bigger it is, the faster your water will freeze, period. The smaller it is, the more maybe leery your horse might be to drinking. Uh, we tested this on a few of our horses here and none of them had any problems. They all just came over and drank water and gave it a sniff kind of thing and wandered off. The only thing I'm going to do this thing is hopefully let it dry out because uh, it's not freezing anymore. And then I'm going to paint or probably epoxy it actually. I'll probably just get some epoxy on this thing and uh, make it watertight. Make the top watertight at least because the, the sides are uh, treated with so water. Uh, but I want to reduce the amount of water that can get into this plywood, even though it's a pretty good plywood. Um, uh, I don't want it to deteriorate very quickly. But it's a simple change. So again, you're just taking the size of your, your tub, you measure that out, you figure out the height, you want a little bit of height in case you want to put insulation underneath. Uh, I also covered last year, um, last year? Well, 2016, last winter, uh, I covered some ideas on, uh, and I'll show that uh, uh, in some links there, um, but the idea that you can, you can wrap the tub in insulation, um, which again just reduces the amount of, of contact from outside air to the water inside, even if it is the surface of the object that is holding the water. Just science. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> there's Gracie. It's messy in here, but there's Gracie. Just hanging out. Her and Luke get along really well. Well, he likes her. But she seems to be checking him out. Funny how horses will stand in the rain. Maybe I should take her out. I don't know. Anyhow, so cleaning up a little bit, doing this stuff, um, waiting for the rain to 